Hello, my name is Malik Carrington, and welcome to another episode of the Family Budget Fisherman. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, all of you supporters, uh, for hanging on with me. It's been a year and a half already. I feel real good about uh, where the channel is going. You know, it's a slow growth, but it's a growth nonetheless. Thank you to all the new subscribers who um, have come during our year of challenge. Uh, today, as you might have read in the description, um, I want to give uh, an update review on this rod, the Daiwa Tatula Elite Cody Meyer Series rod. One of our subscribers had actually um, suggested that, hey, you know, it's been a little while since you've had the, had the rods. Why don't you give an updated review? So let me go ahead and go over here and grab them real quick. So here is the Cody Meyer series, Daiwa Tatula Elite, um, that I have been using since I purchased it in July. I did a review and an unboxing in July, and it was a nice review. And take this off. Remember, I got the seven foot four medium heavy uh, model, it's a spinning model. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a spinning fisherman, a spinning rod fisherman only. Um, and that's just simply because that's just what I choose. Uh, so this is the medium. Um, and it's a, the lure rating is 3 16th to 1 half. So I say all that to say, and I paired it with a Creed GT 3000 reel. Um, I love this reel. This is made by 13 Fishing. And it is, the line is Fins 215, two pound test diameter, 15 pound test brake strength, uh, which is better than even some of the stuff that, most of the stuff that's out there on the market today. And then my leader material, of course, is Trilene fluorocarbon, 15 pound brake strength, because I happen to love that, uh, that fluorocarbon. So I want to say, I've used this rod now for about 45 hours over the last three months. I've given this rod, in particular, several hours of fishing each time I have fished. And I wanna tell you how good it is. It's so good, one second here. That I bought a second one. You can see it there. So I, have, I now have two, okay, now I have two. Go ahead and take the sleeve off that they gave us. And now I have two. Same rod. I love this rod. It's a fantastic rod. It does what it says it's gonna do. It's light. Um, it's very strong. Uh, so much so that uh, my largest fish that I've caught so far on this, and I've caught a lot of fish on it. I probably have caught maybe 60, 60 fish on it. Um, and my largest is a six pound largemouth bass. And I'll show you that in uh, one of the photos uh, that I took a picture of it in. Uh, but this is, it's a beautiful rod. I would recommend it to any of you who can afford it. Now, remember how I told you on this channel, my goal is to show you how to get equipment that is full price uh, how to get the best deal that you can to get as close to your budget as you can. Um, and so just know I did not pay full price for it, but you see it is in my hands right now. Um, and I did, I purchased it from Dick Sporting Goods because for whatever reason they are starting, they, they started selling it earlier this year. And that's when I got the first one. And now I got the second one and um, I have enough um, credits and gift cards where I probably will get either a third one or I may get 13 Fishing Envy. I don't know. Um, it, we'll, we'll see. So I just wanted to let you know this is a great rod um, to add to your, your arsenal. And I can say Cody Meyer, he did it again. As a matter of fact, on my Instagram account with the same name, Malie, uh, family budget fisherman. Um, I actually tagged Cody Meyer and I blamed him for that six pounder that I did catch. And his response 
uh, was fantastic. He congratulated me on that. Uh, it was all in jest, but you know, I really believe that Daiwa outdid themselves. They haven't been, in my opinion, the best rod over the last 20, 25 years, but they have excelled. Something has happened with that company, with the pro staff that they have, uh, where this rod and that brand have exceeded expectations over these last, especially 10 years. So I just want to let you know that. So one thing um, I do want to say is I wish that they had it in a 7.6 medium instead of a 7.6 medium light. I would have preferred the 7.6 medium light than the 7.4 medium. Um, but other than that, <laughs> it's a great rod. So uh, thank you for tuning in to this episode. And remember what I always tell you, don't ever try to break your bank trying to get all of this fishing equipment, but do everything you can to break your personal best. I'll see you next time. Take care.